Stop racism! Stop racism! Another week. Who asked us? Another rally. More safety! With a protest against plans to expand this shelter, one that neighbors Chinatown International District. We need help. This is our home. Last Tuesday, community members crowded King County Council chambers. I'm ashamed, frustrated, angry about the seeming indifference. No drugs! And today brought a demonstration at the shelter's doorstep. Our safety! The shelter currently has 270 beds. The plan is to add pallet homes and make space for an additional 150 people. Who asked us? No! Protesters say they want to know the county's public safety plan to protect the people at the shelter and in surrounding neighborhoods. They've said that, and I agree with this, that people experiencing homelessness are not dangerous. What they've said is they're worried about the people who prey upon them. I can't think of a better way to make people experiencing homelessness safer than bringing them inside instead of leaving them outside to be preyed upon. According to Seattle Police, data shows in Chinatown International District, the number of violent crime reports climbed from 175 in 2020 to nearly 250 in 2021. This year has already seen more than 200 violent crime calls. In a recent interview, Chief Adrian Diaz talked about the fact that there are already at least 10 places offering shelter and or services within a 30 minute walk from this Soto site. Maybe we should just take a step back and really evaluate how much level of services is in this area because another one could really create an impact almost just permanently damaging that uh, neighborhood. Now, the county provides security at the shelter now as it looks to expand. The county says it will work with the city and the regional homelessness authority, as well as community members on a public safety plan. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.